For a lot of us, it's over a year since the life as we know ended, but what matters is that we made it and we're all here. You're here and that's great. I think it's easy to forget to be gentle to yourself in a permanent state of things being temporary. So here is some simple things that could help you distress and relax, hopefully. We can probably all agree that early 20th century was not an ideal time for a lot of people, but but there is still a lot of things that we can learn from that lifestyle. I think the beauty of living in 2021 is the ability to choose what things from the past we can keep and what we should let go. Here is what I think we should keep. First, let's start with some beautiful music and now let's make a cup of delicious warm tea. For a full-on Edwardian experience, try adding some milk and sugar. I like mine with milk and honey, as it turns a regular cup of tea into a full-on dessert. And have a look at how the milk creates those beautiful patterns after being poured into tea. Edwardians cared a lot about their surroundings, and since we're spending a lot of time at home, why not make sure we're surrounded by beautiful things? Redecorating your room can help you make it more fresh and exciting, and if you can't afford expensive antique pieces, that's okay. How about printing out some beautiful pictures, or picking up branches and flowers at the park to dry them and use them as decoration. My favorite trick is to print out old book covers and spines and put them over my modern books to make them look prettier on the shelf. We don't get to experience a lot of art nowadays, and I feel like Edwardian lives were full of it. So since going to the museum isn't always an option, dedicate some time to discover art through online museum collections, or if you're a paper person and want to know more details about each artwork, try buying museum publications like this one. And when you're done, why not express yourself creatively by making some art yourself? Edwardian ladies spend a lot of their time perfecting their skills. If you're not an artsy person but still like to create beautiful things, how about some crafts? There is all sorts of embroidery and sewing tutorials on YouTube waiting to be discovered. If you're feeling Edwardian inspired, you can try white work. All this manual, repetitive work seems pretty dull, but it's actually very calming and relaxing. Morning hours were often spent writing letters. While it is not always easy to find a pen pal nowadays, writing, be it journaling or fiction, can clear up your mind and let your brain exercise. Here is a short kitty break, especially for those of you who don't have any pets. Feel free to pet the screen. By the way, do you ever wonder if cats dream of humans? A great way to escape boredom and stagnation is to jump to another world, through reading, of course. If you're feeling ambitious, there is a ton of wonderful Edwardian era writers. And have you ever read poetry? Because to me, it always feels like my imagination is challenged and it's entering an alternate universe. If you want something to keep you calm and relaxed, I suggest children's literature from that time. Frances Hodgson Burnett, 
Lucy Maud Montgomery and Edith Nesbitt all wrote wholesome, magical stories that will make your heart feel warm and fluffy. And I speak from experience. <laughs> I hope these Edwardian-inspired ways of relaxation will help you get your mind of things and help you time travel a little. So that's all and see you next time!